Across three county sheriff's departments, nearly $300,000 was given to new hires over the last year in the form of a $6,693 signing bonus. The bonuses are implemented by the state after Governor Ron DeSantis signed House Bill 3 in April 2022, incentivizing out-of-state officers to move to Florida. Of the more than 1,700 new hires that received these bonuses, nearly 600 had questionable backgrounds or criminal histories, according to this report from DailyDot.com. That includes two in our area. Chloe Davidson, the Escambia County woman charged with the murder of her husband on New Year's morning, was paid a $6,600 bonus after signing on with the Escambia County Sheriff's Office. But Davidson failed training to become a deputy in 2022 and was no longer employed by ECSO. The Sheriff's Office tells me nothing in Davidson's background led anyone to believe she was capable of domestic violence. I'm told the vetting process for Escambia County deputies is rigorous and the signing bonuses are not used as a recruiting tool. In Santa Rosa County, 29-year-old Christopher Tyree received a signing bonus with the state, but was fired after a DUI charge in December. Tyree's the fifth deputy arrested in the department over the last year. In Okaloosa County, Sheriff Eric Aiden says 15 deputies have received the bonus there. Sheriff Aiden tells me not all of those hires have stayed, but the legislation has significantly improved the department's vacancy rate. We can only do so much in a background investigation. We try to hire the best employees we can. They don't all work out. doesn't mean they're all bad people. Sometimes this job's not cut out for them. House Bill 3 was a very pro-law enforcement bill that uh, we all benefited from. So just, I would be pretty confident in greenlighting and telling you that all of the sheriffs here fully support the House Bill 3 that he put forward because it really helped us uh, bring our, our pay up. In Gulf Breeze, the police department has hired just one out-of-state officer that's received the bonus. I think for, you know, some of the bit larger agencies probably, you know, that are, are having a hard time, you know, recruiting and, and finding people. It's just a, it's another tool to, you know, bring down some, um, you know, some law enforcement experience. Chief Rick Hawthorne says the rule is beneficial to agencies everywhere, despite the number of hires with questionable backgrounds. Each of the different agencies that, you know, these officers have been, been hired by, you know, they've done their due diligence. They've done their backgrounds. It's also worth noting, too, Chief Hawthorne says that uh, police recruits won't receive that full bonus until at least two years of service. Now, speaking with PPD today, they said they have had 25 officers receive these bonuses. Officer Mike Wood tells me six of them have quit, but none were fired for disciplinary reasons. I'm told PPD also just hired 14 additional new officers. Live in the studio, I'm Tanner Stewart.